Exercise 8A. Question number 5. Find the value of each of the following. Part A. 50% of $70 and Part B. 80% of 4.5 meter. First of all, let's find 50% of $70. Now, 50% of $70 means we will multiply simply this 50% by $70. And then in the next step, let's remove this percentage sign. Whenever we remove the percentage sign, we divide the given quantity by 100. So 50 divided by 100 multiplied by $70. Now in the second step, just cancel this first zero of 100 with the zero of 70. The remaining quantity will be 50 divided by 10 multiplied by $7. And then in the second step, we know that 50 is the multiple of 10 which means 10 times 110, 10 times 550. So we have left 5 multiplied by $7. Simply multiply these two quantities, 7 times 5, $35. So it means that 50% of $70 are $35. Second part, 80% of 4.5 meter. Let's find 80% of 4.5 meter. For this, we will simply multiply this 80% by 4.5 meter and then in the second step remove the percentage sign then we will divide this 80 by 100 and then 4.5 let's remove the decimal point then this will become 45 upon 10 meter again we have some cancellation as you know that 80 is the multiple of 10 so 10 times 110 and 10 times 8, 80. So we have left 8 divided by 100 multiplied by 45 divided by 1 meter. Simply multiply numerator by numerator and denominator 100 by 1. Now 45 times 8, 360 and 100 times 100. So we have 360 divided by 100 meter. If you divide this 100 by 360, the simple calculation is we have two zeros at the denominator position so we will mo move the decimal point two digits to the left side of this 360. Now this is the first digit 0 and the second digit is 6. Now the initial position of decimal is 360.0 after dividing this number 100 the decimal will move two digits to the left side. First digit 0 and then second digit 6. Now this 360 will become 3.60. You see these are the two digits 6 and 0. Now 3.60 means let's round off this number and we will have 3.6 meter. It means that 80% of 4.5 meter will be 3.6 meter. Next question. Question number 6. There are 20 boys and 18 girls in a class. Find the percentage of boys in the class and the percentage of girls in the class. For this purpose, first of all, we will find the total number of students in the class. The total number of students will be 20 plus 18. Now 20 is the number of boys and 18 is the number of girls. It means that the total strength of the class is 38. Now to find the percentage of boys, the formula will be total number of boys divided by total number of students multiplied by 100%. This is the basic formula to find the percentage of boys in the class. Total number of boys divided by total number of students multiplied by 100%. Now we have some calculation. As you know that 20 and 38 both are the multiples of 2 so we can divide these numbers by 2. You see 2 times 10, 20 and then 2 times 19, 38. Now next step, multiply this 10 by 100. 100 times 10, 10 1000 divided by 19 percent as it is. Now if you divide this 1000 by 19, you will have 52.7 percent which is the percentage of boys in the class. It means that if we have 20 students 
and 18 girls in a class then the percentage of boys will be 52.7 percent now using same formula let's find the number percentage of girls in the class the formula is total number of girls which is 18 divided by total number of boys which is 38 multiplied by 100 percent once again numerator and denominator 18 and 38 both are the multiples of 2 so 2 times 9 18 and 2 times 19 38 multiplied by 100 percent as it is now let's multiply this 100 by 9 so 100 times 9 900 divided by 19 divide numerator and denominator you will have 43 47.3% which is the percentage of girls in the class percentage of girls in the class we have 47.3 so the percentage of boys 52.7 and the percentage of girls 47.3 if you take the sum of these two percentages this will be the total number of students in the class <coughs> question number seven from exercise 8a there are 120 cars in a multi-story car park given that 30 percent of them are blue find the number of cars which are not blue so 30 percent out of 100 cars are blue and we have to calculate the number of cars which are not blue so for this first of all let's mention the given data in this question the data is total number of cars we have given 120 now the percentage of blue cars is also given which is 30 percent first of all we will find the number of cars which are blue then we will subtract this quantity from the total number of cars which will be the number of cars which are not blue so first of all let's find the number of cars which are blue since we have given the percentage of blue cars so we will convert this percentage in numbers for this number of cars equals to 30 percent which is the percentage of blue cars multiplied by 120 which is the total number of cars in the park <coughs> now let's remove the percentage sign then we will divide this 30 by 100 as we have done before 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 120 simply multiply this numerator 30 by 120 you will have 3600 divided by 100 cancel the number of zeros with the numerator and denominator simply we will have number of cars blue cars 36 so first of all we have calculated the number of blue cars in the car parking which are 36 so out of 120 we have 36 cars which are blue so now to find the number of cars which are not blue it's easy simply subtract this number of blue cars from total number of cars in the parking so 120 minus 36 equals to 84 now 84 is the number of cars which are not blue and 36 are the number of the number of cars which are blue so 36 plus 84 is the total number of cars in the car parking so that's it for today thank you so much